Welcome back to the channel. I'm Hank Strange. We're doing a, a watch unboxing today. I just got something here in the mail. Actually, my second purchase from Joma Shop. Hence the, uh, the packaging tape there that says Brooklyn. So it's got, uh, what is it? 140 58th Street, Brooklyn, New York on it. So that came from Joma Shop. We're going to unbox that right now. Just a quick, uh, quick, excuse me, uh, wristwatch check here. Um, wearing the Swiss military. Uh, that's the Neptune that I actually got that from uh, Watch Gang. So that was like my first Watch Gang Platinum. And still wearing it, testing it. So let's jump into this watch. The first thing I want to say, I mean, obviously I know what it is inside. But it is a, you know, people have a, a conversation that I hear going on a lot is the one about the size and what size is appropriate for each person, their taste, their wrist, what looks good, what looks crazy and all that kind of stuff. So this is probably going to be the biggest watch that I've gotten. Let's jump into it. Let's take a look at it. Let's find out. I'm trying to find out for myself how this is going to look on the wrist. So let's do that right now. Okay. So using this CRKT right here, I'm going to open up the box into this. Let's uh, put in there. Put it down, open it. Okay, got another brown paper packaging in there. I'll take that and put that down. Let's take a look at what came from Joma Shop. Looks like uh, a take $20 off your next purchase. You know, order of over $300 or more something thank you so much okay that's cool there's a warranty card in there Joma shop gives their own warranty on there looks like there's a some kind of contest going on from Joma shop product catalog okay so that's what came there in the box let's look here underneath the brown paper wrapping there we go boom stuff that in okay so by now you know it's a glycine it says since 1914 glycine so I've I don't really have any experience with glycine watches I've uh, obviously like everyone else I looked online and saw some good things but this is my first time right here so there's the reference number this is reference GL0097 and this is the uh, international guarantee from glycine here and that's a you know the warranty cards or the guarantee cards that you could fill out Cool. Looks like a, like a quick start guide is probably also in there as well. And there's some more wrapping paper around this. There's another box inside of that box. Let's keep moving it out of the way. All right. That's nice. Um, it has a good texture and feeling to it. I'm pretty sure it's still cardboard, but I, I like uh, I like what we've got going on there. Very lightweight, let's open it. There's the pillow. It's actually away from the pillow. <laughs> Not connected to the pillow. So there it goes. This is the Combat Sub from Glycine, 48 inch face. And um, it is GL0097. Got some plastic on it. And, and this one comes with a strap, with a NATO strap. So, um, probably, yeah. It doesn't look as big as I thought it was going to be, to be honest with you, for 48, 48 inches, but it um, looks good. I like it, how it looks, actually. Um, if you can't tell, I'm kind of like, I've got this, uh, what is this apron-y thing called? It is a, um... I don't know, that's my barber right there, my money. He's in the studio, hooking us up. Is it, it's not an apron, right? Some yeah, kind of... it's, uh, I guess you could call it... An apron. This is an actual apron, but oh yeah, that's true. That's just a protective yeah. cover. Yeah, I don't know. It's a hair cutting, hair cuttery thing. <laughs> oh. Christian probably knows what the hell it is. Okay, so here we go. There's the there's the uh, the glycine on the wrist. Uh, I'm gonna take some time, obviously, and get to uh, get to know it. But you know what? I thought I was gonna regret getting something like 48 inches that that massive but it doesn't really feel that massive to me and here's the uh from the website so it's the combat sub 48 gl0097 
and uh, let's see what technical data they have on it. So the case material, stainless steel with unidirectional turning bezel with aluminum ring colored super luminova C1 green emission at noon at the noon point of uh, diameter 48 millimeters waterproof to 20 ATMs so that's like I think that's like 200 meters uh, back solid steel screwed flat sapphire with three layers of anti-reflective coating on the underside the crown is screw in the stamped logo so I'm gonna do the wrap up here on this watch, which I can't show you, it's not this one. This one is the uh, <laughs> you get the this, wrong hand. This is the, the Neptune. Camera. Yeah, this is the Neptune. Yep. From uh, Swiss Army, Swiss military actually, Swiss military. So that's that one. And this is the one that I got from uh, from Watch Gang. Yep. Yeah. So I know you're not a fan. Uh, it's all right. It's all right. Yeah. I just I have the one I like for yeah. now. Yeah, I'm testing it out. Yeah. No, someone has to. Someone has to to. to uh, Go through the battles just, and the trials and the I'm tribulation. Picky, I'm picky with my watches. I don't I want. I don't. Yeah. What are you wearing? Watch. Let's see. Let's that see. same old Hamilton. He's a Hamilton guy. Hold on, I can go. I can go get a uh, really expensive Breitling if you want. Sure. Okay. Sure. Okay. Take over real quick. Okay. I'll go grab a Breitling. So while he goes and gets the Breitling, <laughs> here is another big face watch that's not a Breitling, and there it goes. That's the uh, sub from Glycine, right? Sub Combat uh, GL0097. Um, I actually really like this. I like this. This hey, is my first this is really, really big face. Let's see. What this, is like a, this is like a $6,000 Breitling, I think. Yeah. It's fancy, fancy. Yeah. <laughs> one of our ball of friends that yeah. happens to be here getting a haircut. Yeah, he's, you can hear him in the background yeah. probably getting a haircut. Yeah, I don't know if he wants to be on camera, but... This is his fancy, is fancy, fancy thing. watch. Yeah, really nice. Um, what is this? Uh, 49? 47 millimeter. 47? Okay. Too big for me, so I can't handle it. Hank, yeah. Hank, it would fit well on Hank. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's how I knew that this I is might... what 52, 48, 48. And that's what made me think, hmm, I might like a big face watch because I tried out some yeah. Breitlings actually. Yeah, Breitlings are big, so, big hunks of metal. Yeah, but uh, it's a pretty watch for sure. This is a nice one. I don't like all Breitlings, but I like this because it's you know it's got a nice chronograph monotone. Yeah. You know, I need I know even those dudes we don't use the monograph the uh, chronograph. Excuse me. I like it. And then I also like watches that don't have the numbers written out on the face. I, as you can tell, completely, well, that, but that's completely a Hamilton, opposite. But that's a Hamilton thing. Yeah. Hamilton has, they have, they always have their, their numbers written out on the face. I like it. The one I have, I like it because it has the numbers written out, but they're blacked out. Yeah. So, and I like, I a, like that Hamilton. I like a stealth black. Yeah. So there you go. So I like that. And that's why I like this one, actually. So let me show you guys. And what I like about this one, it doesn't have the numbers written out. It does have the uh, military. It's like a pilot's watch. Yeah, it has the mil. It, it's got 24-hour military time on yeah. it, which is pretty cool. So, what do you think, man? Here, hold if this you for a second. Can, and right. hold it that way. Yeah. yeah. We'll go that way. All right. Actually, I'll take it off. That's the problem. If the best um, way to talk about it. If you can pull off a big watch like that. Yeah. I think it's great. Yeah. I can't. My wrists, my wrists are too small. I don't understand what you're saying. It's too small. It looks, it looks, it looks, it looks massive. Good. No, it looks massive. No, Same with you know, this one. That's Look at this. psychological, dude. That's massive. Like, okay, and then show your watch. That's not that big. That looks like a baby watch on you. I uh, no, this yeah. is a normal size watch. It's a psychological thing. <laughs> that's what I found out. It really is. It really is a psychological thing, like the big face watch or not the big face watch, and it's to the person it's, that's how it looks like in their mind. I mean, so you know, you have. I, I'm pretty sure. I don't really know. I think my wrist is like a seven and a half or something. Oh god, like if they're wrist I don't sizes, know what I don't even... But you think you have small wrists and you Because that looks huge on me. It, it doesn't actually. It looks it massive. Looks, it looks good. good. <laughs> you see, it's in the mind. Yeah, I can't do it. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. I think it looks good on Hank. Yeah, so so do I. I actually I like it. I like how you know, one of the things with this is that it has an ETA, I think is it's uh twenty eight twenty four? Yeah, twenty eight twenty four. Uh, don't ask me how I remember that. Because that's what's in the Hamilton. Oh, that's the same one here, yeah. Yeah, and those are pretty good, man. I like the smooth sweep that you get with the second hand out of those. The 2824 is like a workhorse yeah. of the Ada movie, yeah. of the Ada series. And like, it's been around it's, for a long time, right? Yeah, and it, yeah. they just run forever. Is it the Ada or ETA? Ada. Or both? Ada. Is it Ada? Yeah. Oh, see? Like Ada, Ada Potato. That comes from my yeah. watch side of the family. Yeah. They always <laughs> correct face me. Those about, I mom, don't know. I just know what I like. My mom corrects me and says Ada every time. Yeah. Edda. No, it's Edda. It's, it's Edda. Edda? Yeah, okay. that's what it is. I call it Ada. She always says it's So that's Edda. a name. It's not an acronym. I think so, yeah. Yeah, there you Edda. go. 
See, we learned something. Somebody in the day. in the comments right now is yeah. like, it's Etta, it's Etta. And yeah, it's Etta. Yeah, it's probably, I think so. But you know what? I like this. I like it's got a black face. I like that. Racist. I like it's got the military. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> I like it has the, the uh, military time. It's a nice pilot's yeah, watch. Yeah, I like it's got the sweeping second hand. That's nice. I, I was, like I said, I don't like the, the numerals actually written out yeah. on there. I like the fact that it's got a bezel. See that? Yeah. It's you unidirectional. Uh, is it waterproof? Yes. You can take 20, it down. 20 atmospheres? You can take or it down diving. 20, yeah, so. 20 atmospheres is very deep. It's very deep? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, one atmosphere how is deep, like how 30. How deep can you go, baby face? Three atmospheres. <laughs> what, what, I, I'm so a diver. That's good, that's I'm good. a diver. Oh, one, you actually okay? Yeah, one atmosphere is like 33 feet. Uh, yeah, just. I know where you're going with yeah. that, but 20 atmospheres is like. I don't. I don't do would, any diving. I think he Baby would face die. does all the diving. At 20 atmospheres, I think he'd die. Uh, oh really? <laughs> yeah, I just don't think you could survive that. Yeah. So I like the features of it, and this I got on sale from Joma Shop. Yeah, yeah. They've, so th I've had good luck with them. Yeah, the price on these, the retail, like yeah, when they put it out, it's like over, it's like thirteen, fourteen hundred bucks. That's not what it's actually for. I've seen it in a lot of places for seven to eight hundred, and really? places that have it on sale, it's around four. So uh, Joma Shop had it for three ninety nine, which was good. That's the I same think, price. It's about the same price as this one. Yeah, I think this was four fifty. Yeah. Which I think now, when you put them like that, look at the difference. <laughs> this is a uh, forty yeah. millimeter. Yeah, and, and when I got a, it, I mean, yeah, that's a you know, it, it looks like such a big. And you know what's funny? My uh, my tag Hoyer, oh, I think you hit play or something. Yeah, no, my tag Hoyer editing. is uh -huh. a thirty eight mil, mm -hmm. and now it looks small compared to that one. Yeah, that's I'm telling you. Because when I got my tag, dude. I was like, <laughs> oh, look at that, his Florida sun. Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna See get the tan? Trucker, trucker arm. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's a psychological thing, but you know what? I do like Hamilton, man. Hamilton mm -hmm. has. Um, I want that blacked out one you have. Yeah. Did you have you seen any of the stuff from Basil World 2018? The only baby thing face was, was that uh, was that rainbow um, Rolex. Rainbow Rolex, and, yes, which was which super was badass. Cool. Yeah. There's there's some other good stuff. One of these years, man, that should be a bucket list thing. Head over to Switzerland. Let's go to, yeah, let's go to Basel World. Yeah, I'll take a I'll take a trip if to Basel. If we get kicked World. out, oh, God. <laughs> all the watch dudes were like, "No, you guys can't." Super snobby. They you can't come in. No, you're not allowed in Basel. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. But yeah, I like it. I think it was a good deal. Uh, three ninety nine. It's got like thirty eight hour power reserve on it. Yeah, it's your average for the twenty eight twenty four. Yeah, that's pretty decent. Um, I've never really had. I have had obviously watches with the straps, but I like the NATO strap and thing. I think man. it's pretty cool. Oh, After it, I figured yeah. out how to put it together, I actually yeah. kind of like it. Yeah. I wonder if they so, are actually NATO strap. Like, do they use those in the military? I think, uh, I th I Is know. that why it's called a NATO strap? I think so. They use oh. it in some military somewhere. Cool. Yeah, I like so, it. And then one of the things I found out about, I like getting watches to find out stuff about them. One of the things I found out that Glycine got bought out by uh, Invicta. Oh, okay. That's so a big company. A, yeah. Um, yeah. And there's, there's like some snobs that don't like Invictus. And people, they don't like the Invicta watches. Hmm. You know, I don't, I don't care really about have, that when it comes to watches. I don't really I, have an opinion of them. Yeah, I just care like, uh, do I like this watch? Is this oh, nice. is this a nice watch? So, and it's for me automatic. I like automatics. Yeah, I, I've never been a quartz person. Yeah, I, if it's there's some quartz that are pretty awesome. I, like my tag Hoyers are quartz. I yeah. wish it were an automatic, but yeah. to get an automatic in that yeah. same series was. What's the one with expensive. the Inox again? I keep forgetting. That's I, I want that remember. watch. That, that's a series. Yeah, the Inox. Um, I forget. It's one of those. It's a real tough watch. Yeah, you can run it over with a tank. Luminox. Luminox. So it's the Luminox Inox. That is a quartz watch. I would yeah. get. Yeah, I, I like still, how it looks. I like automatics. It looks, it looks real tough. But yes, I wish I wish it was real tough and it was an automatic, but I don't think those two frail. things go yeah, they don't go together, right? Yeah, can't run yeah. an automatic. Well, some automatics maybe you can run over with a truck, but yeah. quartz is gonna be tough. Yeah. And I think Luminox has tough watches, but if you want the super tough that particular quartz. one they ran it over with a tank. Yeah. So then you got I'm not suffer. sure but quartz is technically better. If my to if people. my arm gets run over by a tank, I'm glad to know that my watch will survive. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean like, oh this was baby face Yeah, was yeah there was a, there's a hand with He's a watch. Over. Now, but yeah. It can survive the nuclear holocaust. I guess so. So yeah. someone that lives into the future. But it can't will have survive the, the nuclear EMP. 
You know the EMP blast of the oh, nuke? You can't survive the, that. The quartz won't survive that. No, but this but, will. But these will. Yeah, these will. So, like, what do you do? <laughs> <laughs> you just wear two of them. <laughs> you got so, one on each wrist. There's, yeah, there's a lot of cool things I like about it. I probably, I will bring you guys, like, a more in-depth. I just wanted to do. As it gets worn in? Yeah, as I wear it and see. But I'm actually, like, it's been on my wrist now for about, I don't know, a couple of hours that I've been here in the studio getting haircuts and all that. But I really like it. I also like the fact that I work with, you know, Babyface and I do stuff. If you guys look at the channel. We do stuff all the time. We like we like guns. We like watches, and so do other people. It's a man thing, yeah. I think. I think, I think knives, I think watches. Joe forgot that we have. He forgot we have this button. Oh, yeah. We can just put it well, under the desk. Yeah, we'll just conveniently we won't say anything. We'll wear it out of here. Yeah. Right so there you go. I'll come back with this and more watches, <laughs> and uh, you guys will see us soon. Um, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, put a comment in there. Check out HankStrange.tv. Yeah. You know, all the stuff going on at YouTube. Who knows what the future holds? We'll see soon. For the for those of us. That's why we have to have, like, uh, other jobs. That's that's right. You gotta have a real job to pay the yeah. bills. Yeah, because who knows what's gonna happen at YouTube. <laughs> I still don't have a real job, but whatever. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm never planning on ever doing that. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We're out. Peace. Let's see. Let's see if we can, we can see Joe over there. <laughs> I got a nice haircut. Check that Deliver out. his, the his ball in. fancy ass watch back. I mean, <laughs> at your job, at your job, do you get to have people come in? And uh, someone came back here. They were like, "What? I've never seen people getting their hair cut on the job." There you go. Do you mind if I show you on camera, Joe? I don't care. Or is it too late? I've already shown you. And there's my barber, Mo Money. There so, you go. How do people find you, Mo Money? Hey, can you grab a garbage can? Um, you can find me on Instagram and Facebook. On Instagram, it's Mo Money the Barber. M O M O N E Y T H E B E B A R B E R. On Instagram, Thanks. you can find me on Design Cuts Barbershop. Um, that's the shop page, and um, my personal page, uh, Mo Harrison Conwell. Mm -hmm. You can find me. Those three. All over. Social media outlets. Yes, there you go. Mo Money the Barber. And then behind you, what I think is really cool before I end, check out this. Check out this clock, <laughs> baby face. Have you seen this? This, <laughs> this is, this is, you like autos? Look. look yeah, at this, that this, this thing is going on so long now. Everybody's going to think we're over and we're just yeah, showing off I more know. stuff. That Henry's an auto, man. How does it? I don't know how that happens because you don't see clocks often. Clocks usually tick. <laughs> it's got a. Uh... This is very smooth and it's awesome. And it has, of course, you can take that off, but it has fluorescence, dude. You know you like that. I, I actually do. I kind of yeah. want one for my, my yeah. office at home. That was, that was in the store, and they didn't want it. And I we were like, oh, really? You don't want it? We will take that. So we got it now. We need to look up. Oh, is it? it I think it's actually. Oh, no, there no, we go. Not, there no, we go. Just, don't try to steal. Don't no, no, I'm, I'm back. Up. Okay, go back to your I'm office now. I'm going to go back in, up and down, Ouch. up and down. Don't try to, don't get designs on my clock. Yeah. <laughs>